Okay, so May got a few changes, and a lot of them are surprising buffs, like ones that I was not expecting. So, um, small changes is, you know, they made her combos hit more consistently, stabilize the combos, so, you know, they're not gonna awkwardly miss, which I guess is handy. Um, stabilize the hit using derivation after the unblockable attack, so I guess she can combo, yeah, so she can combo with her unblockable a lot more easily now, which is good because she used to, like, have to do some, like, weird stuff and, like, guess how it was gonna hit. So, like, that makes sense to me. Oh, that was... So yeah, now she can combo off of that more easily, which... Cool. Her ground counter-attack, they shortened the recovery frames, which I thought was kind of interesting, because it was already kind of a crazy safe move, because she can just cancel it into anything. Like, I don't understand why they're trying to make things more punishable in this game. When you can cancel anything into anything, like, I don't understand. Like, it's not like anyone's gonna punish this. It's not like ever a May is just gonna be like, Oh, I guess I'm just gonna leave that and just wait till I hit the ground. Like, no, you're gonna go, like, boop, and then go into, like, these things, and then go into whole freaking combo because your opponent thought that they could punish you, but no, no, no. There, there is no punish in this game. See, I can just... <laughs> I can cancel it into my completely safe unblock, you know, till quirk 1, and there's nothing you can do about that. So, I guess it sucks to suck, buddy. I'm just gonna wait for his meter to come back. But yeah, so they made this technically more punishable, but, like, it's not really more punishable. <laughs> And that- I just realized, did that break his guard completely this time? Oh my goodness, can he, like, not have so much- Just gonna wait for his guard to come back. Okay, cool. Um, so is this gonna break his guard? Oh wait, oh yeah, she's always on the ground. But if you land this, look, like that simple thing that I just did there, like, completely broke his guard. Crazy. Um, yeah, they adjusted her, um, her red attack so that the, the bomb blows up a little bit faster than it did before. Which makes sense, because it was kind of weird how it, like... Like, waited a bit. Like, it was a really weird... Weird attack, but now it's a little bit more normal. Uh, anyways, Hotel Quark 2. Lowered the combo correction value. I don't know if that means it lowered the scaling or increased the scaling. Hey, wait. I mean, I'll just have a look. I do something like, um... Okay, wait, so how much damage does the last hit of this do? 2,000... and 25. Oops. Okay, so maybe they increased the scaling a little bit, or decreased it? I honestly don't remember how much scaling there was before. But like... And it, it does higher damage. I guess ever so slightly. I mean, it was never really known for its damage. But, uh, <laughs> I guess there's been a damage increase. Which I guess is handy. <laughs> Not that the move needed any more buffing, it needed to become- wait, let me check. Did they- did they make it unsafe? Did they make the move unsafe? Oh wait, no, um, I have to make it... Um, action after guarding. Target combo. Nope. Still completely safe. For no reason. Like, what? It's a super fast projectile that she can combo off of and throw out from about, like, mid- or t nearly full screen. Where she's completely safe, if not plus on block. Here, let me test that. She's plus on block, what the hell? Like, she can attack before the opponent can in most cases, unless she's right in their face. Um, so that's interesting, it makes no sense. And it's just completely safe, like... It's weird that there's a completely safe move, like, even without cancelling it into anything, but also that it's a projectile. Like, this is just so weird. I don't understand this move at all. Okay, her uh, quirk 2 makes it longer for the ice to start turning. Oops. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Um... Yeah, maybe she's dizzy for less long. I don't know, it seems like literally about the same. She recovers very fast from it. And stabilize the hit. Yeah, I did notice that just then. It does hit a lot more consistently. Yukon doesn't seem to fall out of it, so that's handy. It's very good for her. Um, they increased the damage of her plus ultra 2 from 10,000 to 11,500. And made some... her sidekick attack have a little bit longer of a cooldown. 
So, that's me. Not too many changes, just some kind of like weird buffs that I wasn't expecting, but I mean, I guess I'm not complaining. Just kind of shocked. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's, that's me. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.